Daniel Brin. I work for uh, Hyde County, and we're currently on uh, the West Canal Tidegate structure of the Swan Quarter Dyke. Um, beyond me to the south is Juniper Bay, uh, and then opens up into the Pamlico Sound. And then inland to here, you've got um, agricultural land and woodland that's protected by the Swan Quarter Dyke. Um, this particular canal drains 4,000 acres of wood and farmland, and it basically um, is a protection for storm surge as well as saltwater intrusion um, for Swan Quarter and surrounding communities. The dike itself is over 17 miles and protects a little over 11,000 acres of farmland, woodland. Um, the community of Swan Quarter and residents in and outside of that community. And what are the challenges from uh, rising water levels and salination around here? So um, managing water, rising water is, um, is a difficulty throughout the county. Um, salt water from the sound is detrimental to agricultural production. Um, you can see here a good example of migration of wetlands inland. Um, so this infrastructure helps to mitigate that um, and protect those uh, valuable ag and farmlands and of course uh, people's homes and the community itself. And uh, what do people talk about as the causes behind this? Well there's some debate you know you, you'll get people who contribute this to man-made sea level rise um, people say that it's just a natural occurrence, but I think you nowhere know, else uh, will you find a larger group of people who will collectively say that sea level rise is a concern and it's affecting uh, their livelihoods. Daniel, thanks. Absolutely.